In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create some stock charts in Excel using a download like this from Yahoo Finance. If you're unfamiliar with how to pull stock prices from Yahoo Finance, I'll leave a link in the description to another video where I go over that process. And this video basically is picking up from, from there once you've loaded the data into Excel. And so I'll show you quickly what the different stock charts look like. So if I go to insert, and open up all the charts. There's a section for stock, and you'll see there's a high, low, close, open, high, low, close, volume, high, low, close, and volume, open, high, low, close. And this really just relates to the different uh, fields that you're using. Like this one has volume traded, the opening price, the high price, the low price, and the closing price. So once you've got these fields um, set up and, and downloaded, creating these charts is really instantaneous you're just going to insert and just selecting the chart the key thing is just making sure your data is structured in the right format and so what you could do is you know download this data and then manually put it in the right order or you know delete what you what you don't need and and so on but you can actually make the changes right into power query so when you download the data it's automatically going to format that for you correctly each time so to do that, what I'm going to do is edit my existing query. So if I go into the data tab, there's an option for queries and connections. And this is my query from, from Yahoo Finance. So if I right click and edit, it's going to load up Power Query. And then what I can do is just make the changes. So this, this is just a simple um, download from Power Query. So I didn't make any uh, any real changes to it but the cool thing about power query is any changes that i do make it the, the steps are saved over on the right hand side so every time the the query gets downloaded these steps get applied so if there's things that i need to do like let's say remove some columns or move things around i can do that in here these steps will be saved and then all that's going to be downloaded and following that same 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 process so for starters let's say i just I'm interested in the data for October 2021. I don't want any anything beyond beyond that range. One thing I can do is on this date field, select this drop down, select date filters, and then click on between. And so here I've got an option to filter the rows based on you know a date that is after or equal to a certain value and before or equal to another value. So I'm gonna use the calendar button here. And if I go back to October, I can enter October 1, go back here, enter October 31st. So now it's just gonna filter the dates within that range. So now you can see my dates only fall within that range. Now I'm gonna start with creating a really simple chart, just the high, low, close chart. So in that case, all I need to do is get rid of some, some extra columns. So I don't need the open, I don't need the adjusted close or the volume. Now what I can do is hit close and load and now Power Query is going to apply these steps when I refresh the data. Okay, so now you'll see, now I've just got those, those columns in there. So now if I just go to insert and go to recommended charts um, switch over to all charts, go to stock, and now I've got that high, low, close chart ready to go. And as you can see, it's, it's already set up and it's just a matter of selecting, you know, what sort of layout I want. And there you go. It's easy to, to set up. Now, one thing I will note is that, um, right now for these, for these charts, because, this axis is format as a date. You'll notice there are some gaps in here. So even though, you know, there's no values for um, certain dates like the October 9th and 10th it is missing, but here it's filled in. So if I wanted to get rid of that, what I could do is format the axis and then just set it to a text axis. And that way Excel's not gonna try to automatically fill in any missing dates. And if you don't like the format of this, one thing you could do is right click format cells and then use a custom format 
that says, let's say, 3, 3Ms and let's say 1D. So we've got October first and so on. So you've got a, a bit of a cleaner formatting. And I don't need the legend anymore. I'll get rid of the title for now. So now, just like that, I've created a, uh, a simple high-low close chart that, you know, I can refresh this data and it'll update if I wanted a certain certain range. But now let's say I wanted to make something a bit more complicated. I want to do the volume open high low close chart, the most complicated one on there. So I'm going to delete this. And again, I'll go back to queries and connections and I can edit this. And this time the only column I need to remove is the adjusted close column. So if I want to remove um, a previous step that I applied, I can just hit this X button here. So this is where I remove the columns, right? So you can see it removed open, adjust the close and volume. Now I can also adjust this formula, but what I can also do is just X this out. And now it, it sets me back to the previous step. So I'm going to keep that filter in place for October. This time what I'm going to do is just right click, adjusted close, remove. So I'm just removing that one, one field because that's the only one I need. Um, the one difference with the um, with this chart is the volume needs to be at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag this to the beginning. And now you can see there's another step here that involves reordering the columns. You can see the logic and it's got the date followed by volume, open, high, low, close. So if you wanted to, if you felt comfortable, you could you could make any sort of changes right here in the formula without having to, let's say, X out this step and, and reapply it manually. You could make the adjustments in there. Um, either way, you know, Power Query is gonna, gonna save those steps um, that you take. And now what I can do is hit close and load again. And now once the, the data refreshes, it's gonna give me those, those extra columns and in the exact same order that I wanted it. So again, I can go back to insert, go back to the charts, and then this time select this last one, this volume, open, high, low, close. And again, I would need to repeat the steps to format this axis, convert it to a text, get rid of the legend and the title, and then obviously apply whatever formatting you want. But basically now you've got that, that chart and you can apply whatever custom settings you want and just to sort of prove that this works what i'm going to do is go back into um the data and connections one more time edit this query and this time what i'm going to do is go back to september as well so i'm going to include september and october so this filtered rows step right here you notice it has this gear icon i can go in here and click on that to adjust this step and the settings that I applied in there. So I don't have to delete and, and re-add it and that sort of thing. I can just click on that. And here I'll click on the calendar button and this time I'll go back to September 1. I'm gonna hit okay. And then my range is expanded and I'm gonna hit close and load. And now it's gonna refresh this data one more time. And when it does, you'll notice that my chart automatically expands as well. So the really cool thing here is, you know, in this case, I, I filtered just September and October, but let's say you did have that full year range where you wanted a full year's worth of, of trailing data. All you'd have to do is refresh this, this Power Query download, and then your chart's automatically gonna update. So you don't have to go through those manual steps of making sure you've got the columns in the right places, making sure that you've removed the ones you don't need, and so on and forth, so forth. So you basically created your own macro in here that every time you refresh the data, it's gonna follow those steps of reordering the columns, removing the ones you don't need for the sake of setting up the, the exact type of chart that you want to, to be able to set up. So that's in a nutshell how you can create these different types of stock charts. Um, you know, depending on the chart that you wanna take, these steps might be a little bit different. There might be uh, different uh, columns that you want to um, include and exclude but basically as you can see it all comes down to just making sure that it's in the right order the right format and then you're really just going to insert selecting the chart and once that's ready to go then you know it can automatically populate into here so that's how that that works and uh hope you found this useful thanks for watching